At ImageWorks, we have helped many thousands of dental offices make the most of their imaging. And one of the most common desires we hear from dental professionals is, I wish I could show my patients the diagnosis in a way that they can see what I see. Then I can spend less time trying to convince them of my diagnosis and more time practicing dentistry. While 2D radiographs, like PAs and panos, are a great staple for a dental professional, there are many limitations. First, obviously, you can only see in one plane. With a PA or a pano, you can't walk through it, you can't examine layers. Second, size and dimensions are not exact. Everything is a shadow. Like making shadow puppets on the wall, the larger distance between the object and the wall, the less accurate it is. Even in the case of PAs, where the sensor is very close to the anatomy, it's still not exact. With a cone beam system, it is not a projection. Rather, it's a mathematical model that's based on data that's captured from many different angles around the volume. Therefore, all the distances are exact. Third, the dental professional has less information and therefore is less confident in convincing the patient of the treatment recommendation. Lastly, the pathology is rarely something the patient can fully visualize and therefore the patient may be hesitant to fully accept the treatment recommendations. As a result of all this, Dental professionals often feel they have to spend quite a bit of time convincing a patient of their diagnosis and less time discussing treatment options. With cone beam imaging, you don't have to convince the patient many times because typically they can see it for themselves. Let's take an example. Here's a PA that was taken in one of our offices. You can see a periapical radiolucency. However, showing this to a patient may require some convincing that this is worth investigating, let alone initiating treatment. With a cone beam scan, the abscess on 24 becomes clear as day. Now there is no debate on the diagnosis and the conversation is focused on treatment options. The dental professional typically doesn't need to spend much time convincing the patient that treatment is needed. So let's talk about radiation. One of the things we like to say at ImageWorks is that every office has to decide what's the right fit for them. We typically advise dental professionals to evaluate the optimal trade-off between the diagnostic value that is gained versus the cost and the radiation exposure of the modality. In practicing ALARA, the dental professional is in the best position to evaluate this trade-off for every case. One of the main reasons weighing against doing cone beam scans more frequently is that while the diagnostic value is great, the radiation and the cost are also larger than other options like a PA or a PANO. However, it's worth noting that both the cost and the radiation dosage of dental cone beams has come down significantly over the years, such that the diagnostic value versus the radiation may tip the scales toward a cone beam scan more frequently than perhaps it did in the past. Let's look at this more closely. A typical PA from a standard wall-mounted x-ray is going to expose the patient to about 8 microsieverts of radiation. Therefore, an FMX will then be about 144 microsieverts if the staff never has to redo a shot. In reality, it's probably closer to 160 or so. Our cone beam scanner, as one example, can perform a medium field of view scan while emitting only about 100 microsieverts of radiation. Therefore, if you have a cone beam, some might say, why would you ever do an FMX when you can get exponentially more information with about the same radiation risk to the patient? Now the panoramic x-ray is another story. It is dramatically lower than a cone beam scan. A panoramic x-ray will typically be between 10 to 15 microsieverts. While a panoramic x-ray is not going to show as much information as a cone beam, clearly there's a dramatic reduction in the radiation of a panoramic when compared to a cone beam. The point in sharing all this is not to say there is only one tool that's best all the time. As mentioned before, these are all tools in the toolbox which offer variation in cost, diagnostic value, and patient risk. So I hope this was useful. If you have questions about whether a cone beam system could improve your practice, sign up for a 15-minute introduction with us. It's quick and it's easy. We would love to chat with you.